So here's a cool tip. If you have an Apple TV, you can use a built-in calibration tool to quickly and easily adjust the colors on your TV. Now, it's worth noting, this doesn't calibrate the TV itself. It's more calibrating the output from the Apple TV box. Still, it's so easy that if you have an Apple TV, it's definitely worth checking out. So what do you need? Firstly, obviously you need an Apple TV, either an HD or 4K model running the latest tvOS 14.5 or later, as well as an iPhone with Face ID with iOS 14.5 or later. And of course, a television, naturally. Once you've got your Apple TV and iPhone updated, head to settings on your Apple TV. Now scroll to video and audio. Now you should see an option that says color balance, so select that. Now presuming your iPhone is nearby and has its Bluetooth switched on, you should now see a notification pop up from the bottom of the screen and on your TV you'll see a rectangular outline with a unique pattern animated in it. Now hold your iPhone to face the TV and make sure it's close to the screen. Once it's detected the TV you'll see the rectangular interface fill with a sequence of colors. Keep your iPhone facing the screen while it does this. In essence, what it's doing is reading the colors displayed with your iPhone selfie camera to see how they look. Once it's done that, the Apple TV tweaks the output and shows you the result. Then you can switch between the original and the balanced result. Choose the one you like. Job done. So the question is, should you do it? Well, that depends. If your primary source for video is your Apple TV, there's definitely no harm in it, but it doesn't actually calibrate your actual TV. So it doesn't change the way your TV looks when playing content from its own built-in apps or your games console, for instance. Now with a lot of high-end modern TVs, they don't actually need a huge amount of calibration to make them look good. And some even come with preset modes like Dolby Vision or Filmmaker mode. And in those instances, it's best not to mess with the settings anyway. Now, one thing we will recommend as a matter of course is to change your motion settings. By default, a lot of TVs will come with the motion settings set to max. And that often leads to a picture that looks quite unnatural and plasticky at times, as it's trying to artificially smooth the frames between each other. For films, as an example, we'll often just recommend switching those motion settings off entirely. The most important thing, however, to consider when thinking about all these things and calibration is your own personal preference. We all like to see images and colors displayed in a different way to each other. So don't be scared to dive into your settings and mess about with colors, brightness, contrast until you get the look that you like. That's after all the most effective way of calibrating your own personal television. You might even find that you need different settings for when you're watching Netflix and when you're watching your favorite team play sports ball. So there you go. If you have an Apple TV, definitely try it. If you don't, mess around with your calibrations. Or if you want to, pay a fortune to have a professional come and calibrate it for you. I've been Cam and Matt Cam Bunton on social media. I'll see you again in the next one.